Hey guys, welcome to Stockbox. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a static website using Amazon S3 Bucket. I'll show you how to create an S3 bucket and create a policy for that bucket. I'll also show you Route 53 for DNS management, CloudFront for content delivery, and Certificate Manager for creating SSL for your website. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing and help me out by clicking the like button. Now, let's begin. Log into AWS Management Console and under search, type in S3 and select it. It will show us our bucket list. Currently, we don't have any. Let's start creating one by clicking the Create Bucket button. Enter your bucket name. Bucket name needs to be unique. You can't have uppercase or underscore and must be 3 to 63 characters long. So the best way to name your bucket is putting your domain name. On my case, it's caninternationaltravel.com. For region, it will automatically select the closest one to you. And since we don't have existing buckets, we are going to leave this one blank. We can easily click the Create button, but let's see what other configuration is available. So click Next. You will see versioning, which keeps a copy of all your files whenever you upload a new one. You can also turn on logging and encryption if that applies to you. If you're not sure if you should have it, leave it unchecked and then click next. On this screen, you can turn on public access, but I won't turn it on yet. I'll show you on my bucket. Let's click next. These are our settings. Now click create bucket. We have created our bucket. Now let's upload our files. Click your bucket. You can click upload files or simply drag and drop from your folder. I have a template that I want to upload. It's all these files. I'm going to select all of it and then drag it to my bucket. Now click upload. It will now upload all your files and it should be pretty quick. And that's it. You can see that one success upload and if there are any errors, it will show us that. The next thing we need to do is click the permission tab. We're going to turn off the block all public access. To do that, click the edit button and then uncheck this and then click save. We'll have to type confirm just to confirm it and then click confirm. So now we have to add a bucket policy. Click the bucket policy button. And if you scroll down, you'll see the policy generator. We're going to make a policy. So here, select S3 policy. And then effect will be allow. Under principle, we want to put star, which means it's everyone. And then we have that as S3 already. And for action, you want to look for get objects. Basically, we're allowing everyone to view all the objects and for the resource name every bucket has a resource name to get the resource name go back to your management console and you will see your Amazon resource name copy that all the way from ARN and then paste that on this field then put a forward slash at the end and then a star which means we're allowing all contents to be viewed on our website and then now click add statement once that's done click on generate policy and we've now created a policy which allows everyone to have view only access copy all of these and then go back to your s3 management console and then paste it on this field Click save when done. And there you go. Now our website is publicly available. Now click the properties tab. Go to the static website hosting. And then we want to pick the first radio button, which is use this bucket to host a website. Type in your index file here. And if you have an error page, type it in. 
and then click Save. And now to view the website, click the static website hosting again, and this is your link. Click it, and there's our website. I'm just gonna do a quick test. Appears to be working. Now the next thing we wanna do is point this website to our actual domain. We are also going to add an SSL certificate. I'm just gonna close this tab. And then let's go back to our management console, click on services, and then look for Route 53. Route 53 is Amazon's DNS management system. You can also purchase domains from here or monitor your server's health. To start, click Get Started Now under DNS Management. And then click Create Hosted Zone and then click the other one that says create hosted zone again. From here, enter your domain name. You can leave the comment blank and leave type as public hosted zone. Now click the create button. Once done, it gives us our new name servers, which we can then use to point our domain. To do that, log into your domain registrar. On my case, it's Google Domains. Then change your name servers using the Amazon name servers. On your domain registrar, look for DNS settings and then modify your name servers from there. Now go back to Route 53 and copy all the name servers that's given to you. Click on the domain and under value, copy each one. And then I'm gonna paste it here and click plus, then add the rest line by line. Once you've added all four of those, click save. So the DNS propagation usually takes about 48 hours, but sometimes you can see results within 15 minutes. While we wait for the DNS propagation, let's create our CDN and SSL for our website. Go back to your Amazon Management Console, click Services, and then look for CloudFront. Select that. Amazon CloudFront is their content delivery network. It basically means we are caching our website contents to Amazon servers all over the world. This way, our site loads fast wherever the website visitor is. So now, click Create Distribution. There are two options, web and RTMP. We're going to pick web, so click get started. So let's fill out some fields here. For origin domain name, let's get that from our S3 bucket. I'm going to duplicate this tab. And then I'm gonna open my S3 bucket. Click on my bucket, and then go to properties. And from our static web hosting, this is the link that we need. Copy that. Now go back to CloudFront and then paste it on origin domain name. Then press tab. Next under viewer protocol policy, we want to redirect HTTP to HTTPS. And then scroll down, look for distribution settings. Under alternate domain name, put your actual domain name here and then pick custom SSL certificate. We're now gonna create an SSL certificate. So click request or import the certificate. A new tab will open and it's the AWS certificate manager. From here, under domain name, enter your domain name. Then click add another name. And then enter name. And then click next. And now select your validation method. You can use DNS or email validation. I'm gonna pick DNS, then click next. For tags, we don't need a tag right now. Click review. And this is gonna be our setting. Click confirm and request. Just wait for a little bit until it shows you your domains. Now click this arrow beside your domain and you'll see the button that says create record in route 53. 
click that and then click create and do the same thing for your other domain name click create so now hit continue so now it's in the process of creating your SSL it's currently pending validation this may take about half hour so let's go back to our cloud front now go back to this field click it and then select the certificate that's in there if you don't see your certificate when you click it just wait a couple more minutes and then it will show up now scroll down that's pretty much all the settings we want to do scroll all the way down and click create distribution now the CDN is being created as you can see in the status it says in progress over here the status should change to deployed once it's finished while we are waiting for that let's check our SSL certificate status open your certificate manager tab still says pending validation click this refresh button and it looks like our SSL certificate has been issued so now let's go back to our cloud front again and just wait for this to be deployed meanwhile if you find that this tutorial is helpful so far please help me out and click the like button the status has now changed to deployed let's check if our website is working so on our cloud front under domain name here copy this domain and then open another tab and then paste it yeah our website works and all the links seems to work so now the next thing we want to do is point this domain to our actual domain name to do that let's go back to our route 53 go to services and then pick route 53 click our hosted zones and then our domain here we're going to add a new record set so click create record set under name we'll leave that blank and then the type is a record and then for alias click yes and then click the alias target field scroll down and look for your CDN so it's usually under CloudFront distribution pick that and that's it click create button this will take a few minutes to take effect while we are waiting for that let's create another s3 bucket for our root directory so go back to your s3 management console go to Amazon s3 and then click create bucket this time we'll put www dot our domain name you can leave the region settings but under copy settings from existing bucket click it then pick your first domain name and then now click create button so now click the bucket that you just created and we're not gonna put anything here but click properties tab static website hosting and then pick the second option which is redirect request and then enter our domain name without the www and then under protocol put HTTPS and then hit save now go back to route 53 and then we're gonna add a new record set again this time put www and then alias click yes for alias target click it you should see a new s3 website endpoints if you don't see it wait a couple minutes and then hit refresh then click create record set again do the same thing when you click on the alias target you should see your new s3 endpoint select that and then hit create So now we just have to wait again this may take 15 minutes to 48 hours if you want to check if your name servers or your a record has propagated the best way to do this is going to what's my dns.net put your domain on this field and then in the next field select ns which is name servers 
and then hit search. If you see mostly checkmark, that means your website is ready. You can also do the same thing for a record. It's not quite ready yet, but it looks like it's almost there. So I'm going to check in and open a tab. And it looks like our website is working. If I check our root directory by adding www here, dash your forward to our main domain. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you. Leave a comment below if you have any questions and please help me out and click like if you haven't yet. Also, consider subscribing and turn on notifications if you enjoy tech tutorials like this.